why did you go natural? Can you answer that as well? Why Welcome back to my channel, it's Unkechi. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about this question that I've been asked over and over and over and over again about why I went natural or why I chose to do the natural hair thing. It's something that I thought I would like to get your take on it and see how you guys feel about it and what your um, thoughts are and maybe what your reasonings are. So based on this video title, I decided to list some reasons. So I do have a notepad here to keep me on track so I don't um, keep going on and on. And I'm just going to go down the list to let you know the reasons why I decided to go natural. So the first thing is a sense of empowerment, freedom, and self-acceptance. The reason why I say that is I feel a little bit more independent to be able to do my own thing when it comes to my hair. I don't really have to stress about other people doing my hair, counting on someone else to do my hair, um, waiting for someone else to schedule to get my hair done. So I just feel that I'm able to accept how my hair is, um, whatever the texture is, and work with it. So that sense of empowerment, I think it's great for us as women when we feel as though we're able to manage and control our hair. If salons are shut down, then what are you going to do? If we have no products to use, then what are you going to do? So I think it kind of gave me control or gave me back control over what I um, do to my hair. So the next one is chemicals. No chemicals, no chemicals, no chemicals. I think this is awesome because we really were not, I would say I am going to speak for myself and probably plenty of you out there can relate. I really cannot say that I was properly educated about chemicals. Chemicals in our hair is bad. We've seen some different things that have happened when it comes to family, friends, but for me, I did not really educate myself properly about those products that I used back in the days. Now I don't have to deal with that. There's so many different ways that you can still take care of your hair without having to depend on all those chemical enhanced products. The next one is saving time. I think saving time is important because we don't have to worry about going to the salon, booking those appointments, and relying on other people to do your hair. You save the time. I don't have to drive out any more products that I can use. I can use them from home. So I don't have to go to the store to pick up anything. I can practically do my hair and still um, rock a decent hairstyle in its natural state. Now, um, another one is DIYs. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos. Please do watch them, come subscribe, join the family. But I do have a lot of videos with hair masks that you can do. A lot of DIYs expose us to different things we can use in our hair. You can use different things from fruits to vegetables to powders to oils and let me know if you want to see some of these DIYs for your hair. It helps our hair stay in its natural state. It has a lot of nutritional values to them so I think the DIYs has helped me actually transition and be um, in that natural state without having to struggle through maintaining my natural hair. The next one is learning about my hair texture. This is something I struggle with. I still do not know my hair type. I know a lot of YouTubers out there know their hair type, porosity, and all sorts of stuff. I haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, let me know if you think what it is. Watch some of my videos and you'll see my curl pattern. Um, I think my hair is manageable. I think that it's not something that I struggle with. But even with the curl pattern, I still somehow have a little bit of difficulty every now and then trying to figure out certain things to do with it but practice makes perfect so being able to learn about the texture and what I can do with it researching on it makes it great um, that's a really good reason why I went natural another one is heat and um, heat is something that I do not toy with 
I've seen over the years when I used to perm my hair, we had to press it, you have to blow dry it. And every now and then I know people blow dry their hair for length check and things like that. I really haven't gotten to that point of saying that I'm putting a blow dryer to my hair or I'm pressing my hair and then going back to its natural state. So with um, being natural, you really don't have to worry about pressing your hair all the time, hot combing your hair, flat ironing your hair. And I think that's great because people do get a lot of heat damage after they've gone natural. I've seen a lot of YouTubers who have done that and we really don't have to stress about that. You can actually do wash and goes and you're good to go. Product Junkie. I tend to buy a lot of product and um, back in the days I did a lot of hair. I still do hair as we speak but um, I would buy anything that's on the market, anything that's out there and try it. Being someone who processed my hair at that point I would buy most of those products. At this point I don't have to be a product junkie. So you don't have to be a product junkie. I can actually do a lot of stuff from home. You can use different things from eggs, yogurts, powder to really get to know your hair and take care of your hair in its natural state. And then the last thing is being able to have various type of um, hairstyles. With being natural, I have learned a lot of things about my hair. You can braid your hair up, you can protective styling is something that we all know how to do or can learn how to do. You can put it under a wig. You don't have to really stress about having it out and being pressed or being permed. Is it straight? Is it curly? Am I working out? Is it sweating out? So I think with that, I really don't have to stress too much about my hair when it's in its natural state. So those are some reasons why I decided to go natural. Tell me down below why you decided to go natural. A lot of us just decided to jump on the natural hair journey. Everybody's doing it, so I feel like I need to be pressured to do it. I really didn't do it because of any pressure. I felt that that would be the best way to keep my hair healthy and strong. My hair has flourished over the years. I've been natural for quite some time and it has really grown over the years. Sometimes things that we do with our peers is for the good. So I went down that. I do think all of you went natural for those of you who are. What was your experiences? What really triggered that? decision that okay I'm going to go natural for you let me know what you did how did you transition from maybe a chemical state to a natural state were you always natural have you ever considered perming your hair and if you transition to natural what did you do how have you maintained your natural hair journey and stay strong or firm to not using chemicals in your hair and just comment down below let me know your experiences good, bad, the ugly, and uh, I would like to read them and see what else you know you guys have experienced. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and valuable. Comment down below, subscribe to my channel, support my channel, and I will see you on the next one.